in today's video we'll see how to set up the new raspberry pi pico and how to upload code through a software we have been usually using arduino to create all kind of creative project right after then came blue pill that we all know but recently came a raspberry pi pico which is really awesome and can't be compared to any previous microcontroller why this raspberry pi pico has rp2040 microcontroller chip which include dual core arm cortex m0 plus processor 264kb ram and also there is 16mb space for flashing code and with that which is running on 133 MHz clock frequency which means 8 times more powerful than an arduino with that you can able to see 26 multifunction gpio pins these include urt pins pwm pins free analog input pins spi control pins itc control pins so on ok guys let's see how to set up this tiny microcontroller and with that we'll do some fun experiment so without wasting any more time, let's do it. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. It is better to say here, JLC PCB is a really beautiful PC making board app company, where always you will get excellent benefit when you order your PCB. JLC PCB always take care of customer, like you can live chat anytime for any inconvenience, even you can choose any PCB color for free of cost. There are also many benefits such as SMT service, stencil, PCB panel, gold plate, so on. To take advantage of all those opportunity, today upload your graph file by visiting the JLC PCB website for few dollars. In this $4 microcontroller, you need to insert MicroPython first. For which you have to first press this boot cell button for this microcontroller and at the same time you have to insert the USB cable into it. And look, a folder like USB flash drive has opened in my computer. And after then definitely you need to go to the Raspberry Pi website and download the UF2 file. And then you need to paste this file into this flash drive. Now you can might think that the MicroPython has been installed on your Raspberry Pi Pico. And now your Pico is able to accept all kind of program. But we all know we need a software to program it like a Arduino IDE, right? So that is why I will use a Thony IDE here and you will find the link in the description box as always. After opening the Thony IDE, you need to go option and after that you have to go interpreter option and select Raspberry Pi MicroPython and now all your work has been successfully. Now you can program it like Arduino IDE here. And guys, Python language is very simple, really. So definitely I'll write something here that I will use to blink this LED. The number 25 pin or Pico's Raspberry Pi internal LED pin. So I don't forget to mention pin 25 in my code. Okay, my code is done. Now I will click the run button and see the internal LED on my Pico is blinking. And of course I can reduce and increase this frequency of this LED if I want. Okay, no problem. Let's have some fun with this RGB LED. That is why I will add some mail headers to this Pico and I will solder it very carefully so that I can put it on my breadboard. So I will put my Pico on my breadboard and then as well as this LED. And after then I will use the current limiting 330 ohms resistor here which are for red, blue and green. And since the LED is common cathode so I will add as the ground connection. And after then in my Thony IDE, I will write 3 pins output like before to control RGB LED. And see our code is done. And as soon as I upload it and see our RGB is glowing beautifully in 3 color. Ok guys this was today's short video about Raspberry Pi Pico. If you don't like this video you can dislike it. And if you like it please like this video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you again in the next video. Stay well and stay healthy.